Hey y'all, I'm back for part two of the vacation haul. So this is all of the like hair, skincare, makeup, accoutrements, so to speak. So I, my sister has been a hairstylist for 20 plus years. So when I go home, I always like to stock up and hit things up. And then when I'm down in Orlando, one of my best friends lives down there with her husband and short people. And we always try and make it our thing because she does have kids and works and does a lot of, like, she works a lot. And so we try and make it our thing when I come down once or twice a year to go shopping because she never shops for herself. And so we did a little damage. Just a little bit. I'm going to start with the stuff I got with my sister. So we went to the beauty supply store. And I got the caviar. Oh, wait, no, I didn't buy this. I lied. She got this for me because she was, this, she got this for me. Yeah, because I didn't buy this. I was like, she picked this up for me because uh, I travel a lot. So she got me some travel sizes to travel to travel with. I'm saying travel a lot. That's how it goes. The caviar anti-aging, which is my favorite shampoo and conditioner that I've used when I had the weight loss surgery. I found this to be very helpful in just helping my hair feel thicker and soft because when you have weight loss surgery you go through uh, a phase I, I say that I'm still going like I'm still having some slight like I don't know like the last few months my irons really low so I'm having to take an extra iron supplement now after they tested that but after you like go through it within that first year your body goes through shock and so you lose your hair and I was like sometimes it was real bad and it took like literally no joke I feel like three years for all this fluff to grow back and look at my older videos like I did not have uh, the fullness of hair there are no extensions in here I just have a lot of hair it's very fine but I have a lot of it so I really like the bodybuilding volume shampoo and conditioner and then I wanted to try the volume mist because I thought that would be fun. And so she found this kit at one of her supply places and picked it up because she's a nice sister and she likes me. It's always good when your siblings like you. And then, because I also travel and I love this stuff, this is the Matrix Boho Air Dry Twist... Air Dry... Blah, blah, blah. This is one of those long names that's stupid. It's the Matrix Style Link Air Dry Twisted Boho Curl Defining Air Dry Cream. This stuff's amazing! So... You remember like a long time ago, I'm talking to the ladies and the men with long hair that's curly and that take care of it. You remember a long time ago when like you'd wet, your hair was wet and you'd put a little mousse in it or gel or whatever and like it'd dry and it'd look good, but it was like, it was, well, it wouldn't look good. It would look crunchy and kind of weird. This stuff, your hair feels so soft. It's not crunchy at all. It's not stiff. And I have no idea how this works, but it really does, and it's really good. I have two full size, technically one and a half full size left. So I'm excited because last time I traveled and I needed this, I was like, I literally only had the full size, and I squirted it into a bag, and then like a little Ziploc bag, and I just wrote what it was, and I thought, dear God, please let TSA let this through, because I was like, it looks weird. There's white cream in a bag with, with no like, you know. I mean, with just like a, oh, this is hair cream. So it's just one of those things you're like. But TSA was shining on my side because they let it through. And then I have been wanting to try these for quite a while since I heard they were coming out. I love the Ardell lashes. Uh, these are red cherry that I'm wearing. I forget what number they are, but I really like them too. I love the Ardell. I love the Ardell foam ink a lot. They're super lightweight, and I don't necessarily wear fake lashes all of the time. It just kind of depends on my mood. Sometimes I'll wear them to work. Sometimes I won't. Sometimes I, you know, whatever. So I just, I enjoy them. I feel like they somehow, like I can wear like no makeup and put on lashes and somehow my face looks better. And they, at least for me, for my hooded eyes, I feel like they always kind of give like a natural lift. And they just make you... At least they make me feel like I look more put together than I actually am. That's how I feel about it. So I've been wanting to try the Foam Ink Wispies. And I want the Foam Ink Demi Wispies too. But they only had the Wispies there. 
So I picked these up and I'm very excited to get to try these because I do love me some wispy lashes. They look really natural. I love the Ardell ones. They're very reasonably priced and depending on where you're buying them from, but like CVS and Walgreens and some places like that, oftentimes we'll do buy one, get one half off. I think right now these are buy one, get one half off on Ulta. So I want to check there. And I'm back. Okay, so that was like a second for you, but literally it was an eternity of me crawling over this chair. So I figure I'm going to also go ahead and throw in a little haul from like Walgreens because they had buy one get one half off and I was traveling and had to stop and get gas and go to the restroom and get a water so I'm like when I see a Walgreens I'll stop at it and get a water or whatever if I need to take a break because I've been on the road a long time so I saw that they had the lashes buy one get one half off I've never used kiss lashes before I know some people have but and again I basically bought all the ones that were like kind of foamy style because I I, in general, really like the foam ink. I, I played around with these boudoir ones. I haven't tried the little black dress, but that's the styles. And uh, these, thus far, uh, have a really thick band. Some people like really thick bands. I really like Ardell Wispies, as you can see with that band. That tells you kind of what I like. I can deal with a thick band if it's flexible, but... I'm not sure how flexible those are because when I tried the boudoir on, it was not super flexible. I got two pairs of each because they were a really good deal and I had a coupon. Ho ho, that's what we do. And then I picked up the blowout lashes. I think, I want to say these are kind of, I don't think these are mink ones or faux mink ones. I really like the faux mink ones. They're just so light on your eyes. Like it's amazing how much lighter they are and they're just like... I, my camera's not going to pick it up, but like even with these that are wispier, like the wispies here, like you can see, like these are softer looking. Again, I'm not sure my camera's going to pick it up because this is done on my computer, so it's not a great camera, but they're like almost softer and like, I don't know how, like I want to like say, like pet them, like they look softer, they look, yeah, I don't, they just look really nice. These are going to look great too, I'm sure. I got the Pixie and the Page Boy, and there was another one I really wanted to get, but I didn't get the opportunity. So maybe I will next time if I happen upon them. And then they had... Sometimes a girl just wants to have her nails done and not actually pay that much for them. So they had these, but I would get one half off, so I picked up a couple of sets of these as well because it was a really good price, and they had colors that I just don't have access to unless I order this online. So I picked up the Impress, and you'll note I pick up all the shorties. I don't like long nails. Look at the stubbins. Look how, like, and I have, I have, like, little kids' fluffy hands. Like, they're just, they're little kids' hands. Like, they're not big, but I have a giant ring size. Like, I wear, like, a size 9 or an 8.5. I have a big ring size. But I have small, stubby nail beds. So I like the shorter ones. They work better for me. I think these are loads of fun because you can get them in all kinds of designs and stuff. You can even get plain ones and then do your own. I just like that. Sometimes I just feel like really doing it up. And that, I love that mirror chrome. I'm like all about that. And I thought that was really cool. So, yeah, so those are all the lashes and nails I picked up in the last couple of weeks. And I'm sure I'll pick some more up because... I'm only on the road another seven weeks. Well, that's going to happen. Now, continuing on with hair products. Uh, they had a deal in the supply store I was at with my sister. It was buy one, get one half off on Kenra. Love Kenra. It's really good. I am a huge, huge fan of dry oil for your hair. If you have short hair, long hair, whatever, if you live in a drier climate and you have, like, I have really dry ends, but I have an oily scalp, I find the dry oils, whether it's a pump action or a spray, is really, really nice. Although this is technically the Silkening Gloss, but it's got a lot of, it looks like, hair conditioners and oils in it, so it should be good. I'm really excited. Actually, I tried this in this, so I was like, because they had little testers in the store. So I really am excited to get the opportunity to try these and see what I think of them. And then I was so excited. I got a sample of this from Sephora. 
It's by IGK and it's called Mistress. It's the hydrating hair balm and it totally works. It's really good. Really good. And I have no idea why it works, but it does. It's it's one of those, It's it says it's, be the one they envy. The innovative leave-in conditioning balm melts into lengths and instantly boosts hydration. It's feather light formula, detangles and smooths hair. Yep, it does all of that. It really does. And I had a sample packet from Sephora and I think I got three uses out of it and it was amazing and so when I saw IGK I told my sister I was like I don't remember the name of it but I was like it was really good and it was like it just hydrated my hair and literally we spent like 10 minutes trying to come through it and I figured out this was the one I had had and I love it like I'm very excited to have a full size of it because I really like it and then I love Pravana I love Pravana. I love this brand. It's very, it's, 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 it's pricey, but it's really nice. This is the volumizing dry shampoo eliminates odor causing bacteria. I'm not necessarily a huge proponent of dry shampoo. I should be considering I have a super oily scalp, but I just really wanted to try this. This sounded very interesting. So yeah, it's supposed to instantly revive hair from a limp, oily state to clean, lightweight, and voluminous. Our formula is fortified with powerful antibacterial ingredients to attack and eliminate odor-causing germs, while natural absorbents trap oils and blah, 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 blah. Okay, anyway, so I thought I would try this and see what I thought. So, and it wasn't super pricey. And then, I bought a conditioner, because I go through way more conditioner than I do shampoo. Do you have that same thing? And the Pravana, the Nevo Moisture Rich, I have a leave-in treatment from them, a spray, like a little spray bottle. It's just amazing. It's my favorite. And so my sister had bought the shampoo and conditioner, and I was like, they have shampoo and conditioner for that now? And she's like, well, they always have, but they were out of stock, and we went at Christmas time. And so when I went in, and I was like, well, I was like, I have a whole bunch of shampoo, I feel like. I can't really justify getting the shampoo, too. But I was like, I can definitely get the conditioner. Because I go through a lot of conditioner. And if it is as moisturizing as that leave-in, but still, like... Because the nice thing with that leave-in is it's it's very moisturizing, but it's light. Like, it doesn't weigh my hair down, if that makes sense. And I love it. And then my sister picked this up for me because I had... I wanted this again at Christmas time, but they were out of stock. And it is by verb it is the ghost dry oil this is a very reasonably priced salon grade product i love this stuff i really really like these dry oils they are my friend right now i do them every day i do because my, my ends are just so dry and i know part of it is i need to get my hair trimmed but i really love the verb brand i just think it's excellent and they don't necessarily put money in packaging they put money in formulation and i'm a big fan of that and next, we're getting to the haul I did with my girlfriends. So, I have some friends that live in and around Orlando. And when I go home, I have one in particular that's one of my best ones that I get to see. So, we went to the outlets and we had a little bit of fun. Just a little. I got, I'm not going to show those, but I did get three shirts from the loft outlet and a pair of pants. And then, I, well, hold on, I'll show you. I was like, I got, these are not from an outlet, but I was like, I, when I was at home, I had, I love the lipstick stories from Sephora, so I got the Celebrate color, which is a really pretty pink. I got Hong Kong Night, by the way, this one's like the hardest one to find, like I went to a few different Sephora's, like the first one I went to, I fell in love with it, I should have bought it there. And these are $8, by the way. That's That also makes it really nice because that's like drugstore price. And then this one is the one I'm wearing that's called uh, Popsicle Lips. I love it. I love a good Popsicle Lip. And so this is a matte. This is what I would call like, I don't know what they call it. Do they call it like a sheen? Oh, they said it's a satin cream. And it's just really nice. And then this is a metallic. So I really, really dig those. Okay, so first off... I went to the Elizabeth Arden outlet. I really love going there. Sometimes they have amazing deals, and they had this like deal where I got a bath, like a bag of like Provage products for like ten dollars. And I in that I got the jumbo size of the cleanser, which is really nice because 
I was an esthetician for 10 years, it paid my way through undergrad and graduate school, a part of my way, and I think, I think I should be able to find a good cleanser that doesn't strip or dry my skin out for under $20. I have discovered over the last few years that has not always been the case and it just frustrates me to death. I can't, I have a lot of issues with that because there's no reason. So I could have a whole rant on that, but I'm going to contain myself. Anyways, I got the Elizabeth Arden Advanced Ceramide Capsules. I got seven of these. It's their daily use thing, whatever that is, <laughs> whatever that, that is. And then, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of random Elizabeth Arden and stuff that's going to be, like, in here and we'll just have to dig. But I also got the Cravage Daily, Anti-Aging Daily Serum. I paid a little extra for this and got this. And then I got, they had buy one, get one on their lip glosses, lip products. So I got, um, oh my God, what is this called? Imperial Shimmer and Intriguing Violet. And I was like, the guy who was trying to help me was very nice, but like he clearly had a thing for like nude lips. And I'm like, no, I do not have those issues. I was like, no, if it was the rest of my family, you'd be fine. I was like, I want, like, if I'm going to wear a lip color, I'm going to wear a lip color. That's just my, maybe that's just me like liking color so much, but I'm like, if I'm going to wear a lip color, I'm going to wear a color. I was like, you're going to see it. Not necessarily from out of space, but you're probably going to see it. So I thought this was a really pretty gloss, and I actually like the texture of the glosses, so that was nice. So I got those. And then, oh, also I got a mascara came in that little bag with all the Privage stuff. And then I got another little skin renewal booster from Privage. I've heard really good things about it. I like the Privage line. Again, it's it goes into my issues, though, that I think it's, um, you can buy Dr. Brands for less. And it's not a doctor brand, so it's a prestige one. Anti-aging daily serum, like, I would just invest in Dermalogica or Exuviance or Neostrata. Like, those are or were Derm brands. So, if you really, like, have skin problems, look at those. Because so a lot of science backing that up. I'm just saying. And then they had, like, one, like, a, a beauty olive that had a whole bunch of stuff. And so, like, I don't know. I got to, I got some... Bobby Brown oils. I got a couple of, I don't know, what are these? Revitalizing Supreme Light cream. And then I got two little baby La Mer creams to try. Oh no, they're eye gel. And actually, that's a good deal on that eye gel. I got a lot of eye gel. <laughs> so I'm excited to get to try that. And then when I went to the L'Occitane outlet, which I really like L'Occitane, but again, it's like Privage. I can't really afford a whole lot from that unless it's on sale because some of their stuff's really, really pricey. They do sample well, though, so L'Occitane's got that going on. They got that going on. So when I was at the L'Occitane outlet, I got the, I love, love their Verbena line, their so I got the lip balm, which I didn't even know they had, because I obsessively love their Verbena line, and I think it's their Verbena line, and their almond milk line. It's really, they're both really good. And then the other thing they have in a L'Occitane outlet, which I discovered a year ago when I went to New York, they had a L'Occitane outlet there too, and they carry Orborian, which is a skincare brand brand that is kind of it's based out of South Korea but it's a cross between Korean skincare and French skincare and it's just quite fabulous the stuff I've tried it's sold in Sephora and a lot of higher end retailers so this is their bamboo splash I really quite liked this when I tried it in the store and it was very reasonably priced and then I got a little three pack of their different essences to try I got the Yuza Double Lotion, the Ginseng Milk. I was really tempted to pick up the full size of this, and the Bamboo Matte Lotion. So I thought it was a very good deal. I had a lot of fun. Got to shop with my friend and hang out with her for the day, which, you know, you only get to do that a couple of times because everybody's busy. <laughs> it's like, so it was just wonderful to get to see her and hang out with her and have a good time. And then hold on. The, like, 
real thing that I've been saving up for a long time to buy. Hold on, I'll show you. And we're back. Okay, so if you know me and you've watched some of these other vacation hauls where I brought stuff back, I really like um, like designer wallets and wristlets. I feel like I get a lot more use out of those because in general, like I'll buy a new purse for $20, $30 every year. And like I really thought about it and I've been thinking about it for a while and I was like, well, if I save that money instead and I just buy one purse that's a good one because I was like, I have a lot of friends that have had you know, like a coach or something like that, a Michael Kors or Kate Spade, and they tend to last a long time. They're pretty well made. So I was like, well, so I'd been setting money aside to do that. And so I went to the outlet and uh, I, they had their deal or whatever for the day. And then I looked in the back and the clearance actually had like the purse, like two purses I've been wanting for a long time. And then on top of it being 60% off, it was another 30. And then if I bought two, it was another 20. So basically the money I had set aside to buy one purse, I was able to buy two. It's like, so I did. It's like, uh, and I know I'm very lucky to be able to do that. And I'm very, ex like, I just caught a heck of a deal. Like literally, like I'll never catch anything like that again. But I'm very happy I did. I've been wanting either this style or this style of coach for a while. I love this like bowling bag style. It's so great. And I just think this is beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see it, but like it's actually got like glitter in it. And we know how I feel about sparkly shiny. So I was really excited to get this. And like I said, both these were on clearance and it was like, I mean, it was a steal of a deal. So I was really, really happy with it. And I had my friend come through and kind of help me because she has a better eye about picking stuff like this out because I buy my bags at Walmart most of the time. But I had literally thought about it and I was like, I buy a new bag every year and it's at least $20. And I'm like, that's a lot of money if you think about it. I'm 36 years old. <laughs> and I'm like, that's a lot of money because I was like, yeah, I, you know, I wear them out within a year. And I was like, I have friends that have had the same coach bag for 10. So I was like. So I'm hopeful that this is an investment that's going to last a while. I'm not really looking to make any money back on it. It's more of a, I've wanted this for a long time, and I made sure I saved the money so that I could do that when I went home on vacation. And I'm very pleased with it. I'm very excited. I love this bag. It's like the perfect size. I don't like big purses. I'm not a big purse person. <laughs> it's like... I just, this is like the perfect size. I just feel like, actually, I kind of would like it a little smaller, even, because like there's a lot of room in this bag still. And I always find with purses, when I upgrade sizes, somehow they end up filling up lots of stuff that I don't necessarily need, but it still happens anyways, so. Anyways, I was really proud and excited to be able to finally get those, because I had been setting aside for those for several months since I knew I was taking that trip in January. So I was very, very excited, needless to say. And yeah, so I'm very happy with all my purchases. I hope you enjoyed this. This is not meant to brag, but I just, I like to share what I buy with people because I get, I like to know what other people like and if there's new things out there to try. I don't know. I just really, and I, I enjoy watching hauls. So I actually feel like, I hate that I have to, I feel like, I hate that I have to feel like I need to make a disclaimer about that, but whatever, it is what it is. If someone's going to leave a nasty comment, I'm going to delete it. I'm just telling you now. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to be up front. I don't need to see that, and the world doesn't need to see that, so, you know. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Do me a huge favor, like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'll talk to you later. 